Welcome you guys. Uh, by now you all seen the news about the uh, Heikendorf Panther that was found in somebody's house. If you didn't hear about it, <laughs> there was a guy that had a panther in his house and all sorts of things. If you want to uh, see the full story and all the history of this tank with some old pictures of this tank when it was found in the scrapyard in Surrey, click the link below in this video. Um, yeah, you will uh, go to my uh, previous video where I explain everything. But yeah, I found some new pictures of this tank, some uh, pictures when it was pulled out of the uh, basement where it was in. So if you were skeptical, skeptical that this tank of this panther was in a basement, it was <laughs> seriously in a basement. So yeah, we're going to have a look at that and show you also show you some cctv footage or at least some cctv screenshots so yeah let's get going so first up is this picture and first uh, thing that you see is the big eagle <laughs> on the wall there and it looks amazing and note all the damage done to uh, the surroundings of this place but yeah the thing that uh, most weird to me is the weird stairs that leads to the exit of this basement and why would you yeah if this tank is in operational status why do you have a um, yeah a stairs leading up to the exit and you think okay this tank is not meant to go outside but if you look at the cctv footage and the screenshots of it <laughs> you will think different and i will show you that in a short while but yeah look at this this just yeah it's also weird and you see the soldiers carrying the wood to make an exit and yeah the tracks are gone as you can see so um leads me to think that they remove the tracks but if you look in the next pictures you will see that maybe the tracks were already gone like all the track links on the side of the turret and the side of the hall maybe those are the tracks that were previously on this tank so maybe it was not operational anymore maybe it broke down and that's why it is in this state so yeah so second picture and this one is really interesting because you can see really see the damage they did to this place they have torn down the eagle or just yeah bumped it off because they were working on the, the panther and you can see that the uh, eagle did some damage on the side of the panther here and yeah it's pretty sad sight to see that they uh, yeah, I, I, I don't blame the soldiers for this because if you have a screaming officer in your back telling me, telling you to hurry up because blah blah blah, so yeah, you will hurry up and you will do everything necessary to get this thing out of here because, yeah, would you do it differently? So, saying that these guys didn't know what they were doing, I think they do know what they were doing because it's a recovery crew and they know how to deal with panzers and everything and pulling a tank out with tracks is not the right way to do it but th maybe this tank didn't have any tracks to begin with or yeah maybe the tracks are loose or maybe the tracks on the side of this thing and on the side of the turret are the actual tracks that were on the thing to begin with so yeah i re don't really blame the soldiers for this i do blame them for the trashing of the eagle and trashing of the basement because that's a little unnecessary but yeah let's go and have a look at picture three so yeah, picture 3, and in this picture you can really see the tension on the front wheels. They're just bending because they really, all the stress from the Leopard pulling it out is on those front two front wheels. And this is probably why the torsion bars were damaged or maybe worse, broken off because of this tension. And yeah, it's this is not the right way to 
pull out a panther for sure but yeah <laughs> if you're in a hurry and you have that screaming officer in your back <laughs> you really don't care a lot so getting back to if this panther was really operational uh, yeah this picture says enough i think because this picture is of somebody driving this tank so it was probably operational and if we look at the next picture you can see what i mean that it was probably operational so as you can see in this uh, first picture of the cctv footage is that the panther has tracks and that is probably driving on its own out of the basement and few people thought like me that this was uh, some of the newer pictures of the day they were trying to get this thing out of the basement but it isn't and i will show you why and if you look at the uh, yeah, the back of the tank you can all already see why it isn't a new picture because it has no tracks on the back anymore and that's weird and what's even weirder is if you look at the bottom right of the screen it's the same pile of wood that's getting this tank out of the basement and I think why did you design it this way is there stairs under there uh -oh. What's up with that? Why do you have piles of wood to get your own panther out of your basement? It's just weird. So as you can see on this second picture, it's clearly and really, <laughs> stupidly enough, a pile of wood lying there to get this tank out of the basement. And this was originally led me to believe that this was taken on the day the soldiers were there but if you look in the corner there's no eagle if you look on the turret there are no track links and if you look on the back there are no track links either so this was taken another day and <laughs> i found this really really stupid because this is a weird way to get your own panther out of your freaking basement it's taking immense pressure on your engine and immense pressure on your track links it's just yeah stupid but yeah so on this third picture you can clearly see the pile of wood you can clearly see that there are missing track links on the back and you definitely know that this is not taken on the day the soldiers were there to take this thing away so blaming the soldiers for that they were idiots in the way they were pulling out their this panther their flick wasn't doing a better job himself on getting this panther out of his basement and this is probably why and i'm speculating here that this thing was broken down when the soldiers were there because <laughs> this is not a good way to get your own panther out of your freaking basement people come on so what do you guys think uh, is this cctv footage old or new i i have no idea i have really i'm i'm just speechless because I think it's old because the track links are gone, but I can't really believe that somebody is this stupid to having a stairs up to his exit for to drive his panther out of there. It's, it's just so moronic that it's unbelievable. It's yeah, I'm really speechless, speechless guys. I have no words for it. It's just yeah. First I thought that the soldiers was di were such morons, they did it this way, but, but yeah, I really thought they were doing something wrong in getting this panther out of there. But clearly there are stairs under the panther or something else, because yeah, I, have, I really have no idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and <laughs> like this video if you want to see more of panthers in general. Go to my uh, then and now video of the panther and it tells uh, the story of almost all of the surviving panthers uh, to this day. And yeah, 
like this video comment below what you think of this weird case and yeah subscribe see you next time